0 for 2 so far. Leading off for the Royals. The first baseman, number three, Jimmy Fox. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. Boy, d -Row, there's a case of the outfield defense playing so now deep that that ball field. looked like it was extra yeah. bases all the way, but they were able to cut it off. Yeah, not too many times I would agree. I, I, I'd love to hear your take on this as well. The no doubles defense, I, I kind of never understood it to begin with. I felt like the pitcher, if he can execute the game plan to keep the ball in front of the outfielders, but right there, boy, I was wrong. That worked. Fox gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Fouled away. Here's the 0-2. And it's fouled away. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And this will wind up being nothing more than a long foul ball, and it'll hold the count at 0 2. He set, now the pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big, strong guys because once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down, and that appeared to be the case there. First pitch coming. Here it is. Cal Ripken is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. Fielded cleanly to second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Back with more from game three after this. Digging in now, home run Baker. He looked Baker. to bounce back after the striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Called strike 0 and 2. You got to go into battle mode after falling down 0 2 and find a way to work yourself back to even. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Oh, Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. Chopped on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. The batter number 11. At the plate, Paul DeYoung. He flew out Ball. in his last at bat. DeYoung. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a miss, but he's right on here. One strike. He hasn't thrown that pitch much all game. I got to believe as an offense, you just got to throw that pitch away and move on to the next one. Behind 0 2 now. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The 0-2 once more. Down the third baseline, but a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. Rounded slowly to the left side. He's got it. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. When a guy in the mound is working on a no-no this late, every yeah. play is exciting and stressful for the fielders. We'll see if they can continue making the plays behind him. Stu Simmons will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty.
fouled off. No runs, no hits. One error for the Cardinals to this point. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And on 0-2, he misses with a fastball. Man, that's a good take there on that 0-2 fastball. Just missed. He must have a really good eye at the plate. Count still at one and two. And he struck him out. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone through six innings without allowing a base hit. Down in order go the Cardinals. They can't chip into that 5 nothing deficit. Your Chet Green is on to pitch from now the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 57, Chad Green. Settling in now, Johnny Bench. He'll match up with a new pitcher to begin their half of the seventh. Johnny Bench. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he fouls this one off. Now the 0-1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. High and deep down the left field line. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. The 0-2 once more. Hard hit at third. Scooped up. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now back. So the next to the plate for the Royals, Greg Maddox. Greg Maddox. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at bat. It's nothing and one. Oh, man, was that a hack. He's trying to create his own run support with a swing like that. Line drive to left. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. So the lineup card turns over with one away following the base hit out of the pitcher's spot. Hey, you talk about having a game right here. This guy's working on a no-no. Any mixed in a knock? How would you like to be on the mound knowing you got more hits than the opposition? You haven't given up anything yet. Standing in now, George Brett. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Grounded up the first baseline, but this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0 2 now. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane. And that's out number two. For me, check swings are right there next to Bang Bang Place at first. As the most Roger. difficult calls for an ump to make. Oh, Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. From the stretch. Two out with the man at first.
lifted down the line and left. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Nothing in two count and the pitch. The count is one and two. Hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below the zone? Fouled away. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. Candyman will get there and he puts it away Lincoln to Kittle. retire the side. One left for Kansas City. Will they hold a 5-0 lead. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up Leading the switch up. hitting power target. threat, Red Chambers. Starting to Red. run out of time. They haven't Changing. been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. And he squares up on this one. Deep to straightaway right. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His first homer here in the series. As they get on the scoreboard here, it's 5-1. to one. Yeah, they have everything to lose in this game, but it's obvious they have zero quit in them. They're going to battle until the last out, and with that homer, they're that much closer to prolonging this series. Into the box, the man, the Candyman. The man. And he'll Candy take a changeup here for strike one. What a performance so far. Throwing first pitch strikes to 90% of the batters. It's hard to get any better than that. Bases are empty here. Nobody out. Yeah. Strike taken as the curveball drops into the bottom part of the zone. Two well-executed pitches at the knees right there. But I know this hitter's looking for something up. And he punches out another one. Make it nine for the ball game. Every pitcher gives up home runs. Some more the than others. Baseman. But the Number best eight. ones forget about them as yeah. soon as the next guy Answer. digs into the batter's box. He showed me a lot right there by going after the next hitter and striking him out on only three pitches. So now to the plate. Cap Anson. Now he extends nicely, and this ball is driven to right field and deep. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His first homer so far in the series, and it's now a 5-2 to two game. What a great feeling right there as he circles the pillows. Finally able to get this offense potentially going with one swing of the bat. Being shut out all game, but not anymore. The center fielder, number 24, Willie May. Now here comes the Royal Skipper up the stairs on his way to the mound. And it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. So he'll leave here with one out in the seventh as he now hopes the bullpen can go ahead and get him the W. Ladies Hal Newhauser takes the call from the please. pen as he'll try to get now the final two outs please. of this seventh frame. Number 16, Hal Newhauser. Into the box now, Willie Mays. 
He'll swing and lift the ball fouled off to the left and out of play. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Hey. Popped him up. Fox has room in foul territory, and he makes the catch for the second out. The right fielder, number so 21. So striding forward now, Wally Moon. It's been Ooh. an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swung on and grounded out to Cal at short. Right to him. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. So two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. It's the Royals five and the Cardinals two. Ron Guidry's been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Mickey Mantle will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. Mickey Mantle. Now here it comes. Cardinals get the bullpen started here as a right-hander's up and warming. swing and he pops him up right up the chute this may be tough behind the plate and he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one the white dealer number nine stepping Ted. up to the plate Ted Williams ready to deliver here's the first pitch hit in the air down the right field line No one will track it down. We're in the eighth inning now of a five to two ball game. Line towards center field. Mays is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. The first baseman, number three, Jimmy Fox. Coming to the plate now, Jimmy Fox. He singled his last time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit on the ground out to short. DeYoung gathers it in. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. KC down in order. They're still out in front, five to two. of inning number eight set to go and that will bring in the first year catcher, catcher. Smokey Burgess. Smokey Burgess. Here it comes. Swing and a high chopper. And that's the first out. Third base. Into the box now. Home run Baker. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. First pitch of the at bat. Nope, at the ball. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. The 1 0. Grounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. And now pitch on the way. Hey. That's on the corner to put him behind now, one and two.
And there's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside 11. part of the plate, but Short probably stop. too good to take, Ball. and he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. So that brings in the power hitting middle infielder Paul DeYoung. No balls and a strike to count. And it's fouled away. Two out, nobody on. Ani pops it up. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. They trail 5-2. First offering. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Adios, pelota. A solo shot here to left, his second home run of the series as they open it up to six to two now. We've seen these squads go yards six times now today. This game has developed into an absolute slugfest, huh, guys? Yeah, Dan, this doesn't make sense. It's absolutely freezing outside. The last place you want to be is in a batter's box, and this offensive team is driving balls out of the yard. This is what's crazy about the game of now, baseball, d -Row. You would think under these conditions it would be all in favor of the pitchers. That has been anything but the case so far in this one. First pitch on its way. Base is empty here with nobody out. Fouled off. Slapped hard the opposite way. And this is taken in just shy of the warning track for out number one. Well, this one was squared up pretty good, but just like pitchers give up hits on well-executed pitches, batters make outs on balls they couldn't have hit much better. Here's the first pitch to him. Johnny Bench is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0-1. They've done a real nice job keeping this guy into wraps in this one. No hits for him so far, and what stands out to me is they're going right after him. They're not pitching him like they're afraid he's going to do any damage. Now look out as that pitch sends him tumbling to the ground. Back-to-back -back sliders in on the hands. He didn't handle it real well at all in the previous pitch, so why not come right back with it again? Better job of laying off that one, though. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Well, he kind of got caught chasing the first two pitches out of the strike zone. But I think he's caught on to their game a little bit right now. Two tough pitches that he took with two strikes. And now the count is two and two. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Johnny Bench goes down for out number two in the top of the ninth. Lou Gehrig will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number four, Lou Gehrig. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Gehrig, originally from New York State, he's in the midst of his 20th major league campaign. Pretty remarkable. Almost two full decades playing at the highest level. I can't even begin to imagine 20 years in the show. The umbrella of what he falls under. Guys like Craig Biggio, Derek Jeter, Tony Gwynn, to name a few. To hang in there for two decades. Just incredible feat. And a good effort to bring it back in quickly, but he's in at second base with a double. 
the third base. Yeah, some guys have the ability to rise the occasion, while some guys shrink away when it matters the most. Well, this guy is a gamer. He's been on fire since the postseason started, and after that hit, it looks like he doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. At the plate now, George Brett, as he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Brett gets a hold of one to right field and deep. And that is off the wall. He'll get it into second. But he'll get in there with an RBI double. Man, it's like deja vu all the over back. again. Two well the hit back-to-back -back -back doubles that bring in a run. This one ends up going off the wall, and it looks like they've got a pretty good idea what this guy's trying to do to them out there. Definitely getting some good swings against him. At the plate, Rogers Hornsby. Yes, he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. Right fielder looking up. Adios. Pelota. So it's a two-run shot to right center. His second home run of the game, as this is now a seven-run ball game. Skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Your Nick Anderson please. will come on now, and he'll slide into the seventh spot three. in the lineup following the double switch. The Ken Boyer Number is seven. into the ball game as well, yeah. as he'll slide into the Anderson. pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now, now on the 13. double switch. And batting nine. Number 14, Ken Boyer. The center fielder, number seven, Mickey. Standing in now, Mickey Mantle. Mantle. And he fouls this one off. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Comes set with the 0 and 1. Popped up. Boyer is there and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. So four runs in the inning and Ladies they come on the strength of the two big flies. Christy Mathewson picks the mound here. Not a safe situation of course because of the big lead but he'll try to finish it out nonetheless. Now with the play Ken Boyer he'll lead things off here in the ninth with his guys in danger of falling into a very difficult to escape 3-0 deficit. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. And the pitch. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Nope, outside. Talk about frustrating as a pitcher. You make a great pitch like that, the guy just lays off of it. That barely missed the zone. Down the left field line and deep. And that's going to land foul. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. 
This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there. Really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Center field. Long run for the right fielder. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. The batter, number three. So the batting order Second turns over man. now and set to go. Red, Red Shandies. They swing it from the left side right here. The last at that, Nettie D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Ball one to start the at-bat. Now the 1-0. A swing and a miss, strike one. Yeah, flip a coin right here. I don't know what you sit on. Fastball in, then a breaking ball down and away. Pick your spot and go with it. Hit hard on the ground to short. Reined in. On to first, and that means the Cardinals are down to their final out now. Now batting. Left Stepping field. in and ready for another the shot. The man, Candyman. Candyman. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Swing and a miss. Oh, Couldn't one. time the screwball. One strike to count. Down the first baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Cardinals down to their final strike here. Popped him up. Fox in foul ground makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Wow, they were banging on all cylinders from the leadoff man to the number nine guy, the owner. They absolutely cruised to a seven run victory. If it were only always that easy, right? Well, this one pretty much over before it started as we give you a final look at the line score here in what turned out to be a blowout victory. Well, the man you see right there had a game to be proud of. He really came through when it mattered, and he's our top player of the game. Well, he blasted a couple of balls over the wall in this one, really put the guys on his back, and carried him to the victory. A 9-2 finish at the end of this contest. The Kansas City Royals take a commanding 3-0 lead in this World Series. Greg Maddox is credited with the win. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.